Hello everyone and welcome back to Veluwe Zoo. And in the previous episode we recreated this reindeer habitat and also the grizzly bear habitat. And I must say it looks much much better than it was before. Yeah, they also seem to like it. So that's good. And also a lot of new people want to see the new North American part. So uh, yeah, they are lining up and it will get very busy. We have some baby wolves. So um, yeah, before we uh, start expanding, we uh, we also have to manage our little zoo. So let's do that first. And um, let's start by saying hi to uh, Zoofluencer. I should do something about my outfit. It's a little bit boring, but uh, yeah. Matty Harris, welcome to, uh, to my zoo. Matt Max is here. A lot of people are here. So uh, welcome all to Veluwe Zoo. We have a message. Our animal is stressed. Well, I can imagine when there's so many people watching you, it's crazy. So my zoo is actually running pretty well. But if you want to see anything specific about the gameplay, if you have any questions, for example, how to get people using this terrace, you can leave a comment and I will try to, uh, yeah, to take a look at that and uh, show you the gameplay part you want in the next episode. So for example, how to get people here is you put a sign and you say free burgers outside and we will put that sign over there and you will see in the next episode there will be a lot of people there so you might have already seen this but this building is not being used at the moment uh, but we will do this on a live stream and the live stream will be on the same day as this video at 8 p.m. Central European time. So make sure you are there and we will uh, fix the inside. We are gonna create a nice frog house, I think, something like that. So uh, yeah, hope to see you there. This llama has matured. Let's uh, send him to the uh, trade center or yeah, let's release the animal to the wild. Oh, oh, and there's no episode without any fighting gems block. I did see some fighting gems box. Alpha male. Should be another male. Here you go. I'm also gonna send you to the trade center. And it starts snowing. Wow. Winter in Veluwe Zoo. This animal is not in its ideal temperature. We should uh, get to him some heaters. So let's put one. Right there and there the animal is still complaining i think i need a few more to cover the entire area so let's put one here as well that should be fine we have another animal ah the lovely pea fowls also not in their ideal temperature let's give them some heaters as well over there and over there all good. The Niala, same story. Oh my god. I was not prepared for winter. Definitely not. Oh, let's uh, put one there. And let's put one there as well. You also have a stress bison. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Look at that. Beautiful. Also, my Gariel is complaining that he's cold. So uh, let's put another heater over here and that should be all fine let's take a look at the finance as you can see i'm uh, making a lot of profit each year that's good i can maybe even increase the entrance prices a little bit so let's make it 55 and 50 i know it's really expensive for a zoo but yeah this is value of a zoo so yeah everyone wants to uh, visit it speed it up let's see what happens all kind of crazy stuff happens but yeah anyway it works and people are paying that's good i think i even limited the amount of guests to 4000 let's uh remove this limit and let's see what happens people still want to pay that yeah oh a crazy amount of people are joining oh my god so many that's why we got a new computer right that's good more money for me my bongo just had offspring doesn't really look like it to me it looks like he's sleeping but yeah how are my turtles doing here Oh good, ah that's good, I put them on uh, contraceptives, because you can see they're already uh, 200 of them. How are my saltwater crocodiles? 
also on the pills. No, you guys can uh, start having fun. And actually, I don't have any stressed flamingos anymore. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, it works. Mechanic cannot reach habitat. Why not? Let's take a look at the work zones. So there should be something here that says reindeers. Do have them. Oh, and there's only... Uh, okay. Okay. Let's fix that. A mechanic. Reindeer. Grizzly. Mag. Vet. That's what it's called. So I have to find that one. Reindeer. Grizzly. Mag. Vet. Edit work zone. See? This one is not included. So that's fixed now. Awesome. So uh, let's say uh, uh, hello to uh, Zalk. And uh, I think that was it for the managing part. So let's switch to the time lapse right now. And welcome to the time lapse. And today uh, we are going to build a, a restaurant. And around the restaurant there will be a habitat for the dull sheep. So we are continuing the uh, North American section. So that's why I wanted to do the renovation in the previous episode. And um, so yeah, today we are continuing. And what we are going to do, we are going to build a typical North American uh, log uh, building. Um, so uh, what I did is I just uh, googled the uh, exact words log building and the image popped up. And um, yeah, I think that was uh, the perfect building for this, um, yeah, for this particular cause. So um, we are starting with a lot of logs. So um, the piece count on this building is not going to be uh, low because of all these. Um, I know there are log uh, walls in the game, but I didn't want them to be vertical. But I want to wanted to have the horizontal logs on this building. Um, but on the end, I decided to only do these logs on the front of the building just to reduce the piece count a little bit. So I just created a lot of windows. Um, so I think these uh, glass pieces are perfect for the yeah for this kind of thing. Uh, then I'm creating the roof so there's a little bit of an overhang on the uh, front uh, which will be the entrance to uh, to this building. Um, the indoor section is not going to be uh, very special. I will just put some uh, restaurants or like some, uh, some guest uh, buildings in there. And um, yeah, that's it. So uh, it is mostly interior or exterior work. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, just a lot of logs. And uh, what you will also see me doing uh, during this episode is playing around with the uh, lighting a lot. Uh, as I probably told you uh, 10 times now, I got a new computer and the settings are still a little bit weird. Um, but you will also see that uh, during the building, I'm also um, changing the uh, brightness a little bit of the game. So uh, make, yeah, just let me know if it's okay. Yes or no uh, when it comes to the video quality, but Sometimes I can't even see anything when I'm working in the shadow. So that's why I'm uh, yeah, playing with that quite a lot. And in a franchise, it's actually harder. So we can't really change the time. So there's one trick. If you try to save it as a blueprint, you can change the time. And then the time in the game will also change. Um, but there is a bug going on there. Whenever I'm trying to save a blueprint, the game might crash. So you will always see uh, me saving before um, I will do that. Um, I'm actually quite curious if anyone else is uh, experiencing this as well. Uh, I know I did hear Rudy about it once, but um, yeah, I didn't see much about that yet. But uh, yeah, anyway, again, a lot of locks, uh, some smaller windows on this side. And uh, finally over here, I decided, okay, I'm not going to fill up everything with just single locks because that will just ruin the uh, piece count. And I have to think about the future as well of available zoo because yeah, the, the challenge this still is to get every animal in the game, um, yeah, in the zoo. But um, yeah, if I start creating buildings like this all the time, then uh, yeah, we're going to have a hard time. But for now, the game is running smooth. The zoo is actually getting quite big already. So um, yeah, I'm still optimistic uh, about that one. Just try to only put two, one or two animals in a habitat and I think that will also help uh, with the game performance and in the end we can also just reduce the amount of guests of course back to uh, like 2000 if that will help for the uh, for the game but uh, yeah as you can see uh, I'm also or already creating some uh, seating areas so underneath these uh, these little things if the people can uh, sit down so there will be uh, a, a door 
uh, yeah so this is the entrance of the building some uh, lighting as well I actually uh, put uh, a little effort on the lighting on this uh, building um, so yeah this is uh, basically the uh, the moment that I decided okay this is uh, this is too much uh, the all these logs and uh, so on on the back I using the uh, Arctic walls first but then after that I decided okay I'm not gonna do this um, also one reason to create these corners with uh, just single locks it's a lot of work and it's a struggle and I think you will get some uh, yeah some strange results so I think this uh, actually looks quite good um, so yeah another seating area on this side and I will uh, also copy this to the other side um, and some fencing which I will uh, delete later because I had no clue why I, I put it over there um, and actually while I was building this I first only wanted to create the restaurant and uh, oh right now I'm uh, actually changing the brightness by the way this is uh, a little bit too bright so I will uh, change it back uh, later but yeah just let me know if this is okay yes or no I do like the uh, the lower brightness a little bit better when it comes to the video but when when you're working on a building this is uh, much easier actually um, so I'm putting the path in um, again I'm uh, using the uh, yeah different flooring this time with the uh, temple uh, floors um, but yeah I was talking about when I was uh, building this I actually first wanted to do a episode on the restaurant only um, but yeah if I start doing that this series will take hundreds of episodes if I'm for every restaurant like creating another episode so I, I had to decide okay I, I do want to have a habitat um, around this building and there are still a few animals which need to be in this uh, region so the North American region and actually I am quite happy with the result but I think it would have looked better if we put the reindeers in here instead of the doll sheep but yeah in the end let me know uh, what you guys think about that but we can also we can always change it in in a live stream or something like that um, but yeah um, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, covering up the paths lately so uh, as people might know I'm uh, working on a Dutch petting zoo together with uh, Jure and um, he is also a big fan of covering up all the paths and it looks much better and it gives you a lot less headaches uh, when it comes to the pathing tools especially when you want to do something like this uh, when you delete one piece yeah you will get a headache trying to um, fix that again so uh, yeah we are not doing that anymore and while we are talking about a collab zoo so i'm already working on a collaboration together with jure and uh, but there will be another one and this collaboration will be with the one and only paul slee uh, people might know him um, he created a couple of tutorials uh, on YouTube about uh, Planet Zoo and he's also a fantastic builder so uh, I'm really happy uh, with that so I'm excited to start working on that one the uh, first episode will be uh, next week on his channel so make sure you uh, check that one out as well and uh, yeah we are also continuing the Dutch petting zoo of course so uh, we got uh, two sandbox uh, series going on besides this uh, wonderful franchise zoo but Veluwe Zoo will also just continue as it is um, with probably like one or two uh, videos a week it just depends on how much time I have to uh, to create uh, the videos so um, as you can see right now uh, I was not really working on a habitat um, just uh, you know doing some scenery some rock work some uh, um, yeah, trees around the building I do like the look of this uh, but in the end we um, we have to put every animal in the game in this zoo and otherwise it gets too big and um, yeah we um, we just have to think about that every once in a while so um, yeah in the end I will start creating a nice little habitat around it and what I'm trying to do is just to make it look like the people that maybe once lived there or I don't know there's a story behind this building um, that were actually living here and had some sheep or animals so there will be a nice uh, gate on the back and uh, some fencing around it but uh, yeah you will see it uh, in a few minutes so uh, as I told you I did put some effort in the lighting I really like this um, so yeah basically the main structure of the building is uh, actually lighted quite good and uh, it, it looks really good in uh, yeah while it's dark and then uh, all of a sudden oh it's the next day and I decided to start working on the habitat so the staff buildings will be on the back 
So we will have a keeper hut and a staff facility so they can have some coffee. And um, yeah, so the back of the building will just be these kind of logs and um, yeah, basically uh, just a, a, a quite a simple structure on the back and it's really highly like detailed and um, seen on the front of the building and uh, I think that's realistic as well for a zoo um, zoos aren't the place that earn the most money I think so uh, scenery is costing a lot of money so um, yeah on the back we will have soft buildings and some simple doors and some simple walls and the front will look very good and uh, while the guests are eating and drinking they can see the animals and um, yeah probably smell them but yeah in the end it looks uh, really cool and uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the uh, with the result i might do some changes on the uh, foliage later i don't want it to blend in a little bit better with the surroundings that i already created for a value zoo but um yeah in after all it looks pretty good um yeah some fencing so on the back we will have some uh, yeah some wood and um, finally some uh, normal fencing uh, around the habitat but yeah in the end you will actually won't really see it I might delete it as well because this little fence also works so that might look even better but uh, while I was building this I wasn't even sure if that was gonna work so and then I had to uh, do this little trick again with the with the stones but yeah in the end it wasn't really necessary um, see the animals can't even escape only this side so I'm just uh, throwing down some rocks and uh, and yeah, that's actually uh, I didn't know about this. Uh, that's a new function I think in the game. So uh, if there is any foliage that the animal doesn't like, you can just click a little cross and then it deletes everything that's within the habitat. That's really useful because in, I know in the beginning I was actually looking for like five or six minutes to get the right plant, and that's uh, yeah I think that's uh, a really good addition to the game. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. So uh, with that we almost reached the end of the video and of course as usual there will be some cinematics and um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit the like button and if you didn't do it already make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any new content and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye!